This talk is going to be on pediatric keratoconus. After the epidemic, there has been an explosion of keratoconus in the pediatric age group. Before we go into the details about this problem, a few words of explanation about keratoconus is important. Keratoconus is a condition in which the cornea becomes conical, resulting in reduction of vision, glare and ghosting. While it is a disease of puberty and adolescence, recently the increase in screen time during the pandemic has resulted in children as young as 5 years showing early to advanced keratoconus. This becomes a major problem because the child is unable to communicate to the parents the visual disturbance which can result in progression of the disease process. It can also present asymmetrically which may result in the child being unaware of the visual disturbance when seeing with both eyes. At most vigilance is therefore important both from the parents and the teachers. One of the commonest reasons for the sudden increase in keratoconus is the increased screen time and resultant dry eye. The itching and the burning caused by dry eye prompts the children to rub their eyes vigorously. This results in weakening of the stromal collagen fibers with the resultant bulge and irregular corneal astigmatism with reduction in vision and ghosting and glare. While this condition is treatable in the early stages with a simple procedure called collagen crosslinking in advanced cases only corneal transplantation helps so the points to emphasize are reduce screen time make it a routine to take your children for eye checkup once a year watch out for eye rubbing use drops for dry eye or allergy to reduce the itching these points are very important to stop a severe visually debilitating disease from affecting your children which can interfere with their academics and their future job opportunities thank you